Some social media questions for Lindsey Buckingham, Chris McLeod on Facebook. Have your kids shown any interest in becoming musicians? Well, you know, my son, Will, uh, did get into doing some uh, kind of techno stuff on the keyboard for a while. And he does, I know he has musical talent, but I think what has happened with all three of my kids, I have a son and two daughters, is that they are maybe have a healthy ambivalence for <laughs> what I do because I think they see the pretense of it a little bit. And, you know, uh, I, and for, for my son, Will, I, th I think really he's, at, he's 16, so he's probably at that age where he wants to be everything I'm not. <laughs> Vivian McTrouble on Facebook. Would you ever put together a box set of your solo work, including both audio and video recordings? Well, it's funny. We were just talking about that the other day. So, yes, I think uh, if we could get Warners to participate in that, that would be an excellent thing to do. Jacqueline DeCona on Facebook. Will you ever write a book? We've been talking about that, too. But, you know, I, I, I'm ambivalent about that because it seems like everybody writes a book. So I don't know. We'll see. Carolina Novotin on Facebook. What kind of music have you been into lately? Well, um, you know, pretty much just whatever it, uh, I get on alternative radio, <laughs> you know, I, I try to keep it as young and fresh as possible. My favorite pup on Instagram, what was your first guitar? What's your favorite guitar? Well, my favorite guitar is a Martin D18 that I've had since I was maybe 19 years old, uh, and I still have it home. Uh, my first guitar was a guitar I got for Christmas when I was seven, <laughs> which was a three-quarter size Harmony uh, acoustic guitar, which I think probably at the time cost about 30 bucks. Ashley Wright Van Buren on Facebook. How do you feel about the younger generation falling in love with Fleetwood Mac? Well, you know, it's interesting. We, we do these shows now, and you get people who I don't even want to think about maybe how old they are. Because if you do the math, someone who was a certain age in 1975, I mean, you know. So, um, <laughs> and then you've got these, these teenagers there. So, I mean, this has got to be like three generations worth of people that, that our music is making sense to. And that's part of the meaning of what we're doing right now. Brad Hughes on Facebook. What's your favorite Fleetwood Mac song? Oh, I don't have a favorite. Um... I really don't, you know. Marty McCoy on Facebook. How do you feel about being such a huge cultural icon and about the mark that you've made on music history? You have to feel about that. Well, I, you know, I, I, I think one tends to be a bit out of touch with uh, how much impact you've had. You just do the best you can. You don't go around thinking about it. No, uh, you know, I, I don't live that in any way, shape, or form. At Must Be Adam Tweets. How does a guitarist find his instrumental voice? Interesting question. Um, well, I think there are a lot of ways to find your instrumental voice, you know. I, th I think you've got, but you've got to look for your center, you've got to look for how it relates to everything else you want to say, basically. Vicki Baston, do you still buy and restore houses? Yes. <laughs> At Dig Music, as you've gotten older, is touring and performing more physically demanding? Touring is not more physically demanding by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it's actually just as easy as, as it always was. The only part that is demanding is being away from the family. And finally, Nicole21290, what song of yours do you think sums you up best, both as a musician and a lyricist? Boy, that's it. Those are so tough. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, you know, I, I think there's there's a, a sentimental, uh, vulnerable side which doesn't is is not what I put out there very much. But it's probably the more real me. A song like "Save Me a Place" from uh, Tusk. You know, "Save Me a Place, I'll Come Running If You Love Me Today." Thanks. Thanks, Lindsay. Sure. <laughs> Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.